Well, good evening and thanks for joining us on another rainy day and a Monday at that. I'm Pat Brink. Well, trains are back running through Ottumwa again and one man is recovering following an accident between a train and a wheel loader tractor near the corner of Gateway Drive and Clay Street that blocked off the railroad tracks through town this morning. KYOU Fox News reporter Jefferson Tyler spoke to a witness who says he saw it all go down right before his eyes. It's a rare occasion. I mean, I don't like seeing nothing like this, but, you know, it's the first time I ever seen anything get hit by a train. Robert Corcoran was on his sister's porch on Gateway Drive when he saw a train heading down the tracks, warning every vehicle to stay out of its way. They sound the horn, you know, once and then twice to make sure everybody hears them. You know, I mean, it's a good six to ten seconds on the horn per time. This time he knew something was wrong. The horn was a lot longer than normal. He was on it for 30 seconds maybe. An Ottumwa Articulated Wheel Loader trailer located along the tracks was in the train's path. He tried to back up, but it was too late. The westbound Canadian Pacific train barreled into the tractor. The train wasn't going that all that fast, but it was fast enough to do some damage anyway. The driver of the train rushed to the aid of the tractor driver. There was two guys in the train. He took off running. One of them took off running to, to assist the guy in the tractor. Yeah, I seen the guy get him out of the tractor, the conductor. The driver of the tractor was seen moving around after the accident. He was out walking around once they got him out. The tractor driver was taken away by ambulance. Corcoran says he believes it's lucky no one else got hurt. It's a good thing that the train didn't derail. Corcoran says he believes this serves as a good lesson. People should pay special attention whenever they get near railroad tracks. Jefferson Tyler, KYOU Fox News. The 56-year-old wheel loader driver was taken to a Tumble Regional Hospital after the accident and then relayed to Mercy Hospital in Des Moines due to the injuries he suffered. His condition is not known at this time. The Iowa State Patrol is in charge of the accident investigation.